about time that we start our uh, live session tonight. So hello and welcome everybody. I'm your host Deepa Kani in your favorite segment quarantine mein the. I mean uh, today um we've caught a very known celebrity, somebody who's been loved across the continents across the world. Um I'm going to just take one name, Gaja. Gaja in Sanskrit means wisdom, strength, royalty and solidarity. um in hindu culture and he is personified it to the brim his food is authentically befitting true to taste bold full to brim with flavor and i'm sure you've seen him on 10 play at master chef australia and seeing him win and now presenting with gaja by shashi yes you heard heard it right it's shashi chelian the master chef australia 2018 and let's wait no more and welcome him to our live tonight Hi Deepa. Hey Sachi. <laughs> Doing great. How are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Doing good. Thank you so 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 much for giving us the okay, privilege and joining us tonight. No? Yeah, you all good? Me. Yes. <laughs> yep, all good. How's it How's it going in Adelaide? Please tell us. We are locked down in Victoria as you would have heard. Yeah, <laughs> I really feel for you guys, you know. <laughs> I can feel that how difficult it is over there. But um for Adelaide per se, um we are zero uh, COVID at the moment. Mm-hmm. So right. <laughs> restrictions have been eased down, but um, still maintaining the social distancing, uh, still maintaining the per square distance radius kind of a concept. So mm-hmm. we are not hundred uh, percent back to normal, but our restrictions mm-hmm. are far more better than what you guys are having. So fingers crossed. Hopefully, you guys can come out of the quarantine very soon, and uh, you can go about and have some nice food in your local restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we are definitely feeling for all the business owners, and especially you know, budding talents there who had a lot of big plans for twenty twenty. So we are only hopeful it doesn't end the way it started this year. <laughs> But you know, let's oh, this year about- is a very interesting <laughs> year for all of us. Uh, Absolutely. Nobody thought this will happen. But I think uh, people really adapt very quickly. I think human race is designed for that to adapt. So I'm so amazed by the way all of us have adapted and and the new challenges that we have faced and how we have come out of it and how we are moving on with life. So it's a interesting journey. 2020 is really an interesting year for all of us. <laughs> Absolutely, very motivating words there. So thank you for that, Sashi. I mean, you know, let's talk about Gaja by Sashi, your very own baby, which you know came out of after your win of Master Chef Australia. <laughs> Um, we just spoke a yeah. bit with our audience there, but Gaja by Sashi is also in Melbourne, and is in your lovely hometown Adelaide. Give us a plug there. Um, Gaja by Sashi, Melbourne was just a pop up, so mm-hmm. but that was the very first place I started. Um, in CBD, I was there for a good three months. Um, mm-hmm. but since it was a pop up, I couldn't continue for long. So uh-huh. after the three months. I did a couple of other pop-ups all around um, Australia, even internationally, also a few places. Then, when I went back home after one year of traveling around um, Asia and other part of the world, um, I decided, okay, uh, Adelaide is the place that I want to set up my first place. And uh, yeah, and after that, we came up with the concept. The concept was a little unique to Adelaide mm-hmm. because. Usually, if you go to um, any restaurant, they will have a main cuisine. Either mm-hmm. it will be Indian, Thai, Vietnamese, or something. Whereas mm-hmm. for myself, I keep it um, Asian inspired. So you, I can get you can get anything uh, from Asia in yep. one restaurant. So I can be a bit more versatile. I can be a bit more playful with my cuisine. I can, uh, as you know, I will. I always like to introduce new flavors. I like to incorporate new flavors together. Absolutely. So that is what we are doing at the moment in the restaurant. We don't. You will not get anything authentic over there. Always, mm-hmm. there will be a twist in the dish. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. I think especially your feed me menu. 
that that's yes. uh, definitely brilliant i mean uh, you also have a vegan op- vegan option in that so definitely um that's a delight to I see i think uh, vegetarian and vegan um, i'm not a vegetarian my wife is a vegetarian mm-hmm. um so there is something that we cook a lot at home also uh, mm-hmm. but naturally a lot of people are leaning towards uh, vegetarian food and vegan food um either it can be a health option or, or a, even a religious op- option but mm-hmm. giving them this variety of choices when they come and dine in a restaurant it really gives them the option to try new food yes great absolutely that's a good uh, you know acknowledgement of sentiments there to your audience and that's what everybody loves about your food it's fusion yet it's authentic to heart um shashi yes. i'm just going to flavor i don't compromise here. on flavor Like Absolutely. I like to be playful, I like to be creative on my dishes, but mm-hmm. I don't like to compromise on flavors. That is I'm very particular about that. Even my chefs know about it. <laughs> Great. Um Shashi, I I'm just want to take a moment here. I've got a lot of your fans uh, leaving comments there. Um I have Kavita Chhabra saying um great combination always with Asian. Love it. Um I've got uh, Chandu Rock uh, Chindu Rock saying vanakkam Shashi. Um Vanakkam. <laughs> I've got a lot of your um you know we've got a lot of questions come in uh, for the live session tonight so guys please stay on uh, yes. there there will be a pressure test at the end with Sashi let's put it pressure test there. oh my god i missed that <laughs> so let's deal with it <laughs> i really i really miss the kitchen in master chef um the, the the even though there is a lot of pressure but i like pressure i like to be in a bit of a stressful situation I think people get the best out of me when I'm stressful. For some reason, I can I work better under stress. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great tip there. Uh even in the pressure test that we are going uh, through in life, expect the unexpected and it will happen. <laughs> expect Absolutely. the unexpected. It's a very good motto. I love the motto. <laughs> that's great. There's actually um you know you've traveled across the world and you just said um your dishes your dishes are not that authentic but yet modern and uh, fusion in its appearance and taste. What's that yes. one dish that that gained that influence or attention from which part of the world and I actually have you made it to the menu of Gaja by Sashi? Haven't made it to the menu. Haven't ha- has any just been has has it made it and it's been like you know that's something that you loved when you traveled let's say to India, UK, somewhere. Um okay there is uh there was a dish in the menu. I took it out just recently. Uh called lychee duck. It was mm-hmm. very popular in our restaurant. It's a fusion of Thai and Indian. So, mm-hmm. um, if you go into the reviews in my restaurant, a lot of people till now still ask for the dish. Where is the rice eater? So that is something that um, it came out from nowhere. Just an inspiration. Because I love Thai food and I also mm-hmm. love Indian food. So putting them together with the spices and the aromats. and a bit of fruit the freshness mm-hmm. it was an amazing um, summer dish uh, during summer usually mm-hmm. people tend to go for fresh salads and nice crispy vegetables but mm-hmm. a curry with fruit and um, herbs was a wow. big hit in the restaurant <laughs> that's absolutely a tang to the palate already hearing it so hopefully summer is approaching <laughs> to australia it's yes. about time that uh, we could we are, make a we are intending it. to bring back in the menu for summer we, mm-hmm. uh, we have two menu we have a winter and summer menu so hopefully when uh, summer comes when everybody is back traveling i can put the menu on back in the dish amazing back on the menu sorry yes <laughs> <laughs> that's um sashi i've got r prakash 17 um saying very humble definitely you're a role model he loves thai and indian food too um so you know that's yep. it so guys i can see a lot of questions here um definitely he will will be asking them but we'll ask at the end of the segment to just keep the conversation going um sashi yes. just uh, you know um uh, we've been you know reading about uh, you we've seen you on master chef australia you've seen your instagram update um There's something new that came last year. Sashi's secret. And let me tell you guys, it's well <laughs> like whole world. So he's all over there. Um I particularly yeah. find it interesting to yep, to you know, have that. Yeah, we are. I think I think it's a go to save you especially during quarantine. I mean, you know, you want to try so many dishes um at home. 
and definitely yep. it's a, it's a it's a great savior bet if you could share something about sashi's secret okay sashi's secret the story behind sashi's secret um came about uh just of a conversation me and my friends were having then it mm-hmm. an idea popped up because uh, a lot of people were requesting me to start up a restaurant in sydney in melbourne in you know, different parts of australia and but obviously you know i can't open um, <laughs> everywhere so we were thinking how we can reach um every part of australia uh, where they can have something from my recipes which they can have mm-hmm. at home they can try so that's when uh, sashi secret came about and uh, the reason why we went towards a bit of a malaysian uh, indian influence because when we were looking at the shelves in uh, most of the department stores you have indian food you have chinese food but there wasn't this southeast asian uh, flavors so we thought um, let's go towards and that is my strength also i love mm-hmm. uh, i was born and brought up in singapore yeah. i love the southeast asian flavors and a bit of uh, our south indian and indian flavors um together with that uh, sashi secret so that is whole thing came about but a lot of homework uh, i never thought packet food making packet food is much harder than cooking in the restaurant absolutely as um, a lot of technical and um, knowledge required which uh, it took us nearly 6 months to really mm-hmm. understand um and create a packet food and um put it on the shelf and now so far so good i think there has been a lot of support from everyone um during this covid period i hope that such a secret was a bit of a help to a lot of uh, sh- home cooks who was trying to create something for the family so i'm glad that i ke- came up with this and i'm able to connect with my audience uh through the packet food absolutely i think uh, shashi secret is that one secret you need in the kitchen and all you do is just add the main ingredient then so anything hopefully- um because uh, out of the six products we have four of them is vegetarian and vegan friendly um and it's also gluten free Mm-hmm. so wow. you can put uh, the, the thing is we haven't um, most probably we'll be changing the packaging with gluten free options and all that uh, is because curries are generally gluten free we don't have mm-hmm. any gluten in curries which we fail to um, put on the packaging so that is uh, something that need to be rectified and corrected as we are um, marketing our products but mm-hmm. obviously it's gluten free uh, four of them are vegetarian so you can add paneer you can add mushroom you can add any kind of vegetables of your choice and you can make a vegetable curry like the malaysian chicken even though it's called malaysian chicken curry it's a uh-huh. vegetarian dish you can add tofu you can add paneer you can add pretty much any vegetables and it becomes a vegetable curry likewise uh, the chili prawn even though it's called chili prawn uh it doesn't have any um meat or seafood in it so it can be designed as a vegetarian mm-hmm. option also so there's a lot of things is very versatile so you can be very creative is uh, your your imagination absolutely you can let it go wild <laughs> that's some culinary hat there i must say and you're making everybody feel like a master chef in the kitchen i mean even though you're guiding them but they want to do their own stuff <laughs> uh, yeah because we fair. we give them the a bit of guidance on how mm-hmm. to go about cooking it but at the same time uh, cooking is all about expressing yourself i mm-hmm. really believe in uh, create being creative in the kitchen so giving people some a tool and asking them to create something is uh, better than giving them everything and asking them to eat Absolutely. I mean, that's that's some uh, creative mind there. Uh, so, guys, do check out Sashi's Secret. Obviously, even though we are locked down and we don't want to travel anywhere, it's available online too. Um, so check out on Moonwood. Um, Sashi, just over there. I'm, um, you know, I'm getting a lot of comments from your fans. So they they're saying you are my inspiration, Sashi. I've got. Uh, Thank you. Amar, you know, uh, today, today. Yes, today. Kuwait. Wow. So they, yes, I've got uh, Amar Alzaidi uh, from Kuwait saying hi, Sashi. 
Um, Hi. I've got, Tanya, <laughs> I've got Tanya Poonam from India. I miss India, guys. I uh, <laughs> I was supposed to go there in March and I had to cancel. So I uh, oh. hope to see you guys. <laughs> I don't mind tagging along. I'll join. <laughs> from mumbai to melbourne to mumbai i mean it's just i am sure i would love to take that oh flight but let's see when things happen any part of india any part of india. i was traveling um, i think right after master chef um, mm-hmm. the first country i went was india i traveled one month in india with my wife from uh-huh. north right down to south from from delhi to kerala we traveled Oh my god. I mean that that's one tick off on the ideal trip list to India. I we, must say we that. We travel uh, most of the major cities like uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, um Goa, Mysore, Hyderabad, uh obviously Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu I travel yes. a fair bit because uh, we try to go to our native like Madurai and all that. Mm-hmm. Um then we finish it off in Kerala because my wife is from um, Kerala. So uh-huh. we finish it off in Kerala. We met, met our father-in-law. We uh-huh. had a great time in Alappi. It was amazing. It was very nice. Good tour. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, absolutely. I mean, uh, that's a uh, great day. I've got actually you know talking about Mumbai. I've got uh, Gayatri Dutta. Thank you for joining us, Gayatri. She's saying love from Mumbai. Hi guys. Mumbai, And amazing I, uh, food place. <laughs> really, That's what some very, very nice creative food. I think um, most of the major cities in India mm-hmm. they are getting very expressive with food. Um, uh-huh. I had some amazing food in uh, Mumbai, uh, Bangalore, Chennai. Really, really a lot of um, nice. Um, I think the young chefs over there are being very creative. So I'm very glad that I made that trip. <laughs> Wow, um, you know, talking about uh, the trip, I also have uh, not just Tan from UK, Jyoti B- Beardy um, from UK saying, uh, you know, love you and hope to great to see you. Oh, some- UK, I want to come there. <laughs> Faster open the borders. <laughs> I made a booking. I was supposed to go in July in UK, uh, but we had to uh, cancel our plan. I even made a reservation in. Uh, My idol restaurant in Gordon restaurant. I had to yes. cancel that. Oh Mr. my god! <laughs> <laughs> But definitely, once uh, all these uh, restrictions are lifted, two places that I really want to travel is India and UK. Wow, that's a great uh, travel list, I must say. Uh, you know, the two different continents there. So we wish you the luck whenever that happens. Saki, just to let you know, surprisingly, we've got uh, Sandeep Pandit joining us, saying hi, Saki and uh, Deepa. Hi Sandeep, brother, how are you? <laughs> uh, I wanna... It was nice. I had to work with him. I invite because uh, last year before uh, no this year, um, I had this thing called uh, Master no uh, Gaja March. So every week during the month of March, I was inviting uh, chef from Master Chef. So I had D, I had Sandeep. I suppose they have Derek. But that's when COVID came, so oh, no. I had to stop. But uh, Sandeep, amazing uh, guy, really enjoyed working with him. <laughs> that's very so humble and nice of you to acknowledge that. So hello to Sandeep too. Thanks for joining us there. Um, I just wanted to shout out there, Adelina, the Cruiser saying, "Saki, uh, you are mine and my brother's inspiration." Um, I've got Money VJ saying, "Love from Kerala." Oh, Kerala. <laughs> um I've got a couple of um, comments saying you know love from Pune check out Pune too it's a great place for food that's just yeah. along uh, I haven't got a chance to go to Pune yet but definitely one day we will travel I haven't got a chance to go to the eastern side of India where um what do you call it the, the hill areas and uh, uh Assam and all these uh, Simla I haven't got a chance to go to that section yet but definitely that's another side of india that we haven't really visited we will right we'll try to visit plan to open a restaurant in singapore uh, uh, i need some investors <laughs> <laughs> if they can find me an investor please let me know <laughs> that's a great 
Yeah, <laughs> Singapore will be a great place to start a restaurant because Singaporeans are really foodies. They love food. Uh, so even though there's hundreds and thousands of restaurants, you can open a restaurant. You can still survive over there. So yeah, let me know, guys. If you got any investors, I'll come there. <laughs> I've got a also hello coming from South Africa. Zahira Govinda saying oh, hi. South Africa is the next biggest um, master chef followers outside of uh, Australia and India. So we have a massive following in India, South Africa, mm-hmm. Portugal, um, wow, UK, and Asia. So we got massive following South Africa. Really, I I've been there twice so far to South Africa. Really very nice. Wow. Hopefully, you know, I think every other country, all your fans who are coming across from the globe, at least are hoping for a pop up there <laughs> until the investors come in. So hopefully, they'll get to taste uh, you know your fine cuisine. <laughs> okay. I had a lot of plans that lined up for this year, but everything has been sadly pulled back. I would have done a pop up in India. Um, I would have done a pop up in uh, New Zealand, so all that was at the pipeline, but everything has been called off. So, yeah, hopefully next year, things if things get better, definitely, I will try my best to come to as many locations as possible <laughs> with my food. Absolutely, wish you luck with that plan, uh, Saki. There, guys. Uh, at least there's another reason to pray to Lord for Corona to go away. If you love food, if you want to know the Saki secret, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> so hopefully that happens. <laughs> um, Saki, just a comment there coming from Thibo saying he's coming to Gaja this Saturday night for his mum's 68th birthday. He can't wait. Oh, okay, I'll be there. Don't worry. <laughs> there, his birthday celebration in style and with a lot of love. So guys, I'm gonna read out a lot of your, um, you know, comments and um, you know, uh, your best wishes for Saki. But just getting on to our conversation, Saki, we've spoken about Gaja uh, by Saki. We've spoken about Saki's secret cookbook. Is Coming that, soon. You know, yes. <laughs> I have. The I will just. I will show you a la- uh, just a sneak bit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We would love to see all of it soon. So all the very yeah. best. When is it happening? So that is a, a COVID baby, I would say. So <laughs> I, I, it's time to finish my cookbook uh, after Master Chef. So this uh, COVID, uh, I cl- I closed the restaurant for nearly seven weeks when the mm-hmm. March uh, thing came about. So that six mm-hmm. to seven weeks gave me the time to complete my re- cookbook. Mm-hmm. So now I'm in the process of uh, doing some editing and uh, uh, recipe testing and the books. So hopefully by December, I'm I'm intending to release the, uh, distribute the book for Christmas mm-hmm. and New Year kind of a period. So hopefully if everything goes well um, by the end of this year, the cookbook should be ready. That's an exciting, mm-hmm. exciting news. I mean something so positive and something. So I would say, uh, you know, beautiful and gorgeous comes at the end of 2020. Uh, so all the very best, Saki. Um, we definitely look forward to that update. We will keep checking your Instagram handle and also checking, uh, you know, Gaja by Saki because we would love to know about the book launch coming soon. So all the very best there. Um, you know how uh, you you cook for everybody. Um, you've also cooked for His Royal Highness, the Prince of. Oh Europe. yeah. So Is that was really unreal. <laughs> I think not many people can uh, tell, even professional chefs can tell that uh, they have cooked for the royal family. So, in that per se, I'm very blessed. And he is such a gentleman, Prince Charles. Um, this is something I don't know many people knew about it or not. Um, I'd like to share because um, during the show, um, he was not supposed to meet us actually. Uh, we what? were supposed to cook, they were supposed to have the meals in the, um, the the place where they were supposed to have it but when mm-hmm. he knew that we were cooking out for the whole day he informed the the crew and the management that he wants to spend two th- uh, two minutes with us so that's how they make us come in based on his instruction they made us come in stand shake his hand 
take photographs with him. So wow. it was a very, very, it was a very amazing, uh, really genuine moment. We felt, we really were very proud uh, that such an amazing person. He don't have to do it because he was not yes. in the schedule, but he made it a point to meet us. Yes, I think that was one in a century moment. So how has been COVID yes. one in a century? <laughs> so <laughs> you know, it, it was, it was as I can understand, it was as unique and a very inspiring session. um you know for you to even uh, be in the shadow of uh, his royal highness so we want to wish you congratulations on you know successfully um cooking for them uh you know i just wanted to say a, a big bravo to you during this covid time you know how you said you've shut down you shut down for seven weeks um you made yourself yes. positive continued writing your book i mean uh, that's also a very motivating thing to hear what is your inspiration for business owners or people who are home quarantined um right now because of covid uh for business owners this point of time is um a very difficult situation because it's very uncertain every single thing like for example i put everything on the line when i started the restaurant i opened mm-hmm. the doors for business in november mm-hmm. and i never expected in my entire journey or even in my dream that i will close my doors with in less than 6 months Oh and God, the yeah. thing is i and and the worst thing is you are not able to predict what's going to happen it was everything was fluid uh, weekly daily we were making changes um i think for now yeah you should have a long term plan but um we need to be as flexible as possible as creative uh-huh. as possible uh during this period and do not be too rigid with your okay. decisions we have to be a bit more flexible go mm-hmm. with the flow um make simple plans don't make too many um big decisions at this moment mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. make simple plans simple decisions that will not have a great impact yep. but at the same time if you, you can be a bit I, i'm a bit of a risk taker but okay. you have to take calculative risk um there are a lot of opportunities and possibilities because of covid in certain areas yes. um now is a good time to really buy a business if they are really into investing now is a good time to invest in a lot of um properties and all that so that is yeah. if you have that kind of capital if you have that kind of uh, capacity but mm-hmm. if you are a small business where you intend to survive this covid keep it simple don't okay. make messy plans keep it simple go with the flow wow i mean that that's uh, that's a uh, great uh, you know i would say a play there keep it simple and easy and be brilliant when it matters <laughs> yeah keep it simple don't make it too complex and go with the flow day by day or week by week whichever because at this point of time no one knows when will be the next wave coming in when what will be the next new uh, disease will be coming in no one knows <laughs> <laughs> nah. so hopefully we pray for the best there uh, but that was a great uh, inspiration and you know your your own life example how did you come out of uh, covid as a business owner and even an entrepreneur so um you know our congratulations on you on uh, making it afloat um i'm just going to take a moment because we have got lots of love and lots of uh, you know comments pouring in from your fans um just to let you know uh, we had d williams join in um oh, hi, hi. d <laughs> <laughs> so um i've got uh, drishti chadda from india he was the first yeah. one that came into my restaurant to cook how sweet is that how sweet uh, it was very <laughs> nice very nice good experience because um I have never done anything like that in my restaurant prior to D coming in. So mm-hmm. he was our our so called guinea pig. <laughs> so <laughs> we learned with her together because my chef also need to learn. She also yes. so, uh, was new to my kitchen. Uh, we had good fun. Good fun. Amazing. That's a great tag team there. Um I've got uh, Drishti Chadda from India saying uh, you're a master chef. king you are an inspiration um i've got vaishu sanjay saying great work done by chef chashi we admire you a lot um 
um i just had the dreamy dryad saying that's an amazing advice which you just mentioned about how to stay afloat afloat yep um i had also your fans joining in from new zealand Come i'm from sure new zealand yes and i like to see uh, your accent <laughs> i've got gorav uh, um sabhani saying please come to agra see taj mahal and you know we would love to eat oh, i've been to agra <laughs> Agra, we so, we went there. I've got um, HX made saying I am from Sri Lanka and I love your food. Oh, I love Sri Lankan food. Um, Sri Lankan food has a lot of um, similarities with our cuisine. So, yeah, and I love coconut milk. So, <laughs> that's about, no problem. That would be a lot of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've got uh, um, C. Pasi who said hello from New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand! I miss you guys. Amazing place. Okay, I've been to Kerala. A... Obviously, I've been to Kerala. Yes. <laughs> I've got uh, Dreamy Dryad saying I'm going to read it. Try to read it properly. Uh, he's um, they've written when I come, Saki. Uh, Abdi Rukenga. Oh, how are you? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to know. Okay. You are good. I am sure you will understand that. <laughs> yes. I am uh, fine. How are you? Okay, great. Uh, so, um, that's something new I learned there. So, I've got Prerna Sanjita saying hello from Pune. Um, I've got uh, Khushbu Thakur saying. Come to Munur. Munur is, where is the place? Munur. I don't know. Uh, let hmm. me have a look here. Proud of you, please come. Okay, I've got Kavita Chabra, who's basically from Malaysia, saying, "Proud of you. Please come up with puttu packaging." Uh, puttu packaging. <laughs> oh. Okay, that is um because I myself not very good in puttu, but I can try. <laughs> <laughs> That's some request coming through here. Uh, I've got uh, Saidi the uh, Dilip Pala saying uh, she's uh, you know from. Uh, Not east, and she's saying, "Let's shower some love." And they've been putting a lot of love comments for you. Hi, um, Sugam so- Malay, Sugam. <laughs> That's a Malayalam, Sugam. Yes. Yeah, Sugam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, just a lot of love from Chennai by Harshini Gajendran. Yep. Chennai. Right, so I, yes, so guys, um, I I am getting your questions there, so definitely we'll um get that running. Just in general, you know, Saki. Um, obviously, please share with us what is one thing that you miss um, or from the Master Chef uh, Australia Kitchen after your win in 2018. Um, the adrenaline. I miss the adrenaline. Okay. <laughs> so every day when I when you are there, you are pumped. You don't know what to expect until you step into the kitchen. So that is something that I miss. Um. As many of you know, uh, I'm an adrenaline junkie. So yes, I'm just going to acknowledge that. <laughs> from my previous job, right down to what I'm doing now, I like to keep myself always in that adrenaline moment, so that it makes me really. Um, it pushes me. It pushes me and makes me uh, have that drive to achieve something. So that that is something I miss. I don't have. I'm having the adrenaline still running a restaurant at the moment. But uh-huh. I, I I I always get tend to get bored very quickly with something. I need to do something different every now and then. So I don't know what's going to be the next one. My wife always <laughs> feels that I'm a bit of a crazy guy. So yeah, <laughs> let's see. What oh, we would love to see that update on your Instagram channel, Sasha Taylor. Definitely, we want to see that whenever that happens. So yeah, excited <laughs> about it. Uh, because we've seen your past videos, like you know, um, where you've shared about your ad, uh, you know, your you being all about action and sports and things like that. So oh yeah, I I think, I, I think uh, ten years ago, if you've seen, if you have seen me, uh, sorry. No, all good. Hello. Yes. yes. Yeah. So no, if ten years ago if you had seen me, you would be scared of me. You wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> Has the master chef also done a makeover? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, no. I think um, Australia had made me a makeover. Uh huh. Okay. I changed a lot after I came to. Um, 
I don't know. I've changed. Uh, I'm not a very. Uh, I'm a very introvert person. Back ten uh, years ago, uh, mm-hmm. I don't talk much to people. Um, you hardly see me smiling a lot. Um, I'm always in a very different kind of a zone. But um, I don't know. After I left the police force and I moved over here, I started spending a lot of time with my kids, my family. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen a different side of life, uh, so people ha- are seeing a different side of me now. And we are loving it, I must say. I had one of your fans, uh, fans, uh, um, Saeeta, uh, say, "Do a Zoom call with all your fans someday." So you know, nobody would consider you an introvert in that case. Uh, the Sachi <laughs> that we're seeing today, and and we definitely love that side of you, Sachi. So um, you know, we're definitely thankful that you're here and. Sharing this moment with us on Biscuit Show Time, so thank you for no that. No problem. Thank uh, you for having me. Um, it's a good time that you know you approach us uh, because I really wanted to thank a lot of people uh, who have been supporting us in this pandemic period. Uh, Say it, Sashi Secret. Say it, Gaja by Sashi. I think this um, or even my whatever I'm doing currently, mm-hmm. we will not be able to sustain or progress. Without mm-hmm. the support of all the people, all the well wishers, I say, I'm not fans. They are all my well wishers. They are my greatest support. So thank you so much for everyone for really um, supporting us, and uh, hopefully we can uh, do more great things together. Absolutely, you know, as we uh, as we said, pop up in every country that's been mentioned in Insta Live today. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, as long as fingers crossed, that yeah. will be the biggest tick in my bucket list. I would <laughs> love to travel to every part of the world and uh, to meet every one of you, if possible. Yes, we will be definitely connected there, Sashi. I'm going to just show you um, one thing here. Uh, let's just relive that moment if we can. Here we are. <laughs> That's you. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm just waiting for the scoreboard. It was such uh, a nice one, ninety-three out of hundred. Yeah. That's a big congratulations to you. <laughs> I think uh, based on the the that format, I was the highest score ever scored. Yes. Because the current format has changed a bit. So based on that format in the last ten years, yeah, I was the highest. I uh, safely, I would say that I had about five records in that show. Yes, mm. one of them was ninety three on hundred, which was amazing. So belated congratulations. Yes. Two immunity pins. <laughs> Two immunity pins. Uh, most dishes tasted mm-hmm. for wow. mystery box. Then uh, biggest margin. Um, Two immunity pins. Something else also I can't remember. It was five. <laughs> I'm sure mm. it was a record-breaking moment for you, and indeed also on the decade of Master Chef Australia. I mean, to get a score like that, um, and to be one of the bling boys, if we are correct, that's what you call. Uh, <laughs> no, you uh, we call ourselves <laughs> bling boys, like me and Chris. Um, <laughs> we were a very good team. For some reason, um, uh, for a good three or four weeks, every time when we pick. For a team challenge, we will be together, and wow. whenever we are together, that team definitely wins. It's either my dish or his dish, um, and both of us were winning uh, immunity pins. So yeah, it was um, it was an interesting team. moment for us. There was a period of time people thought that um, it was uh, a thing that was made up by Master Chef. They tried to create a drama. But actually, seriously, it was not. It was pure luck. We just put our hands inside the bag. Usually, uh, yes. George will carry the bag. We will pick up, and we will see both of us in the same team. So it was pure luck. But it was a um, very good uh, combination. I think the universe wanted that food. to happen for always having the winning dish uh, there, the one being tasted and the one being admired. So that and that's why we see you emerging as a uh, you know winner there. Um, Sachi, I had a lot of comments come in, um, especially by. Shruti Kohli Sharma, who's been um, a winner in one of the reality shows. Yes, Madhuri there. Sorry. Yep. Um, I had a comment from uh, Shruti Kohli Sharma. She said the aroma of his food from season 2018 auditions is still so fresh in my mind. 
He is a brilliant cook. Oh, thank so, you, thank you. He's still lingering at the um, the master chef kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet is that. I've got a panna and the coat saying, "What is your favorite among all the dishes you've cooked in master chef kitchen?" Um, favorite. Yes. I have a few, but for some reason, um, the um, one that I cooked for Gordon, the uh-huh. lamb with pea puree. and cauliflower cauliflower and the yes. beer sauce um i never thought i would win because um i was mm, the, the the ingredients were very unique he gave us eight ingredients that i have never used much and for me to just come up with a dish spontaneously based on flavor profiling and tasting mm-hmm. uh being creative with the beer the beer was terrible it was such a bitter beer <laughs> and uh to make it balanced with uh salt sugar and vinegar to create a sauce uh was something that i was very proud of and um to win the challenge was another level there's a lot of moments in the whole competition but that was one of the first moment i felt that i've got a very good chance of winning the competition Wow. And what a what a motivating feeling there. Oh, you know, despite having Gordon Ramsay there. I mean, uh, you've had global master chefs in the kitchen from Nitella Lawson to even Heston, which was the finale pressure test. Oh my god. I mean, the look of I it. need to talk about Nigella. Nigella, she is such a lovely woman. Um when she was walking through the doors, everybody's the jaws dropped. She was a goddess. She just swept everyone's feet. as she walked past all of us but she's really a down to earth person she mm-hmm. would sit down with us and have lunch so she's that kind of person when we went to uh, jackaroo the the um, wineries she was with us asking our recipe how you cook this how you cook that she was so mesmerized about how uh, huda was cooking the candy mm-hmm. floss so such a down to earth person always wants to learn something hasten crazy guy uh, i don't know how his how his brain operates for him to come up with such um, creative dishes three quarter of the ingredients that i used in the recipe i have uh-huh. never heard of in my life wow. so much of ingredients i think about 106 ingredients i used for that dish crazy <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, uh that the look of it was so dreamy and you know how they say uh, in Hindi, you know, ye to sapno mein hi ho sakta hai. <laughs> I mean, it was exactly like that. It was so difficult. Uh it was so dream like, but definitely it was the one that made you a winner that night. So, yeah, um yeah. you know, we, we cannot see my face. My jaw really <laughs> dropped when I saw that. I was like, what the hell is that? I couldn't really figure out. <laughs> something was floating, something was white in color. My yes. mom was the best. My mom from the top she was asking me Sashi is that palgoa I said no I don't know it looks like palgoa but I don't know what else that <laughs> Moms are always there right I mean to support and also to uh, you know press at the same time uh, what's your inspiration sir My mom was at least also bad she was very calm sitting down my wife she was marching up and down she, <laughs> she couldn't watch me cooking she was behind the contestants marching up and down and uh, She was funny. She was, she was not even looking at what I was doing. She was so stressed. Yes, uh, I mean, I and uh, to you, I think you really managed to calm and compose. I must say, you got overjoyed the moment you were announced as the winner. You were like your kids. I mean, so happy and so pleasant at that time. But it was definitely worth it being under, you know, the pressure, being calm and composed there. Um, you know, um, I've got here somebody in uh, from UK saying you are an amazing. It is amazing how you won uh, with your home base humble fish curry and sambal. uh you brought asian food to a different level so um yeah. that's there i've got uh, maduri uh for the saying biggest fan apart from a great cook sashi you are a nice person with beautiful soul you are my ideal thank you guys thank you so much <laughs> really i really appreciate the support from everyone I, globally everybody has uh, accepted me as one of them uh, <laughs> part of their family so yes. really i really appreciate that thank you that- 
that's very kind of you sachi to acknowledge all your fans and your lovers and your admirers and well wishes there and we are very glad that you could come on best of show time for this sachi we are, we are not going to let you go without the pressure test and obviously the instagram live is on the time bound so i'm going to make it super quick uh, <laughs> we'll do it that way now uh, the quarantine has happened once in a lifetime let's put it that way so we're going to ask you a few things like one food trend that you're currently loving sachi one food trend i'm currently yes. loving uh chaplet great um you know one song you enjoy while whipping up a storm in the kitchen <laughs> oh i don't listen to any music when i'm cooking you should come and see my cooking is very um uh, how to say then it very quiet the kitchen i'll be very quiet <laughs> when i'm cooking you hardly wow. can hear me but on my normal days i love uh, listening to music uh, i'm a very big uh, ile raja fan so yes. i like to hear to the 1980s 1990s uh, ile raja songs so that is me ile raja songs that's there guys so uh, maybe we might get some motivation we're going to try that now by <laughs> cooking you know uh, one uh, comfort food for you comfort food for me sambar wow i think it, it just sounds so calm and comforting definitely um you know yeah. one tip or one hack you want to give millennials on the move so that the cooking can be convenient or fun or uh, fun um less is more okay <laughs> less is more great right. <laughs> less that's, ingredients that's nice. more flavors yeah. maximize the flavors it's also cheaper for them also instead of yeah. buying 101 ingredients and dumping into a dish take three four good ingredients and get a maximum out of it the flavors yes as you said at the start you know keep it simple and easy so yeah like even a simple oh. stir fry <laughs> of greens with a bit of garlic chili oil stir fry the vegetables a bit of sesame oil that's it you're wow. done a perfect wow. okay. uh, dish of stir fry for your rice simple amazing one ingredient you cannot do without in your kitchen chili <laughs> chili oh, yes. that's my thing i love my chili <laughs> uh, it's not necessary need to be too much of chili but you need to have a dash of heat to really um, tingle your taste buds yes absolutely guys so if you are refraining from chili maybe take that tip and be adventurous like sashi <laughs> i'm going to put it that way yeah, it don't have to be uh, so much it's a bit you know it needs that it's a balance of flavors always you need the heat you need the salt you need the chili you need a bit of sour it's always a balance of flavors yes absolutely um you know one food memory or your first food memory first food memory mm-hmm. uh my barbecue chicken wings barbecue chicken wings okay love right. my barbecue yeah <laughs> you know your one inspiration a person or yeah anything anything that inspired you to be a cook oh inspired me to be a cook oh oh chef i should say sorry <laughs> oh chef um <laughs> chef obviously i will go for gordon Gordon is my uh, biggest inspiration not the way he talk to people but more on his skills the way he cook the way he yes prepares everything that 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 whole systematic approach to everything i love that but in life um there's a couple of people i take as a inspiration um one of them is my uh, teacher uh from a, from my high school he has uh-huh. been he's one of the reason why i am what i am at the moment um the way he spoke to me another one is my uh, dad's brother he has been a very good uh, role model for our family so these are the few people that i like to take my inspirations yes yes absolutely family friends and our fans you know they always are there yes. uh, to show you love and admire you i've got two uh, foodie sales um you know stella saying a hello to you um you know sachi just particularly i still remember uh, meeting you um at the uh, you know mcg uh, 2018 um i had bought yes. a little gaja there <laughs> uh you know just at a pop up store and i still remember taking a photo with you at there and you were so humble as you are today um you know thank you for that thank you sachi, if you could give a big shout out to our channel bit it's show time it would be great hi guys it's bit show time 
<laughs> thank you guys don't forget to like follow and share with the show time we would love to get uh, you know your love as much as you are giving sachi um you know um we would love to know what next you would want to see i've got here amit shivani saying uh, me too at mcg there are a lot of other fans uh, who are coming i have oh, was there at mcg <laughs> was a, really a very nice event uh, i really enjoyed it i think i remember uh, what's the name himanshi himanshi yes. from uh, They uh, organized it, and he yes. called me, in and I was like, "Okay, let's do it." Oh, it's yes. really a very beautiful event. Uh, India versus Australia. <clears throat> a lot of uh, I managed to see a lot of uh, local Indians and uh, Indians from India. It was a very good interaction. On top of uh, selling food, I think meeting yes. people and interacting was the uh, I I felt was the most important thing over there. Yes, yes, indeed. It was such a vibrant environment, and you know, obviously, yeah. with the love and the, you know, the echo pouring from the fans, especially being in the stadium and while not being in the match, uh, it was definitely a very, uh, you know, well done event. We It's a very interesting way of cooking, also. One moment you'll be very quiet; there'll be not much people walking around. Then when they give the break, wow, thousands yeah. of people will be flooded. <laughs> Then we uh, we'll be like under the pump for a good an hour or so. Then okay, yes. quiet again. Then boom, under the palm again. That's interesting. <laughs> Absolutely, it definitely was. We also had a pop up there called Baby Jello. Um. So and yeah, you were so nice and helpful to visit our uh, you know pop up there. So thank you so much, Sachi. Um. You know, Sachi, what's cooking tonight? Which secret are you gonna unveil? Um. Tonight I never cook. I cook yesterday because okay. usually yes. I cook a bit one shot. So I have um. The Malaysian cuisine I, I did yesterday, so it's called uh, sambal goreng, uh, which yes. is made of tofu, fermented um, soybean and beans. Then yes. I also have uh, mee goreng. Wow, mouth watering I must say, <laughs> but I'm sure you would have made it quick with Sachi's secret there. Um, Sachi, I wanted to always ask one dish that you would make. Uh, you know, you would quickly whip up in the kitchen when your wifey puts her feet up on the couch. You call your kids in. What do you make quick? <laughs> oh, fried rice. Yes. Fried rice. Yeah. Simple <laughs> fried rice with a bit of egg, or or even as simple as what I mentioned earlier. If I got a little bit of rice, a bit of um, vegetable, and one fried egg, I'm done. Amazing, amazing. I mean, no, uh, that that's something. Sounds quick and easy, but the, but the finesse it needs definitely comes uh, from the master chefs like you. And we love to see your posts on Instagram, guys. Do check out Gaja by Sachi um, ADL uh, Sachi Secrets um, on Instagram because obviously he shares his love and his creative uh, dishes there. So and we have been very very privileged, Sachi, to have you on Biscuit Showtime. I'm Deepa Aptani. Thank you so much for your time again. Is there a last message that we can have you before we let you go, Sachi? No problem, Deepa. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm I'm glad that I was able to connect with so many people. I think uh-huh. uh, it's been such a long time that I have done uh, this with my fans. So mm-hmm. thank you for creating this uh, opportunity for me. Uh, hope to see all of you very soon, and uh, to everyone in Melbourne, we feel yes. for you. We hope that this thing will be over very soon. Uh, we are this, we are in this together, all of us. Not only in Melbourne, throughout the world, we are all of us are in this together. So we will support each other and uh, stay safe. I will. I'm really hoping to see all of you very soon with my pop up around the world. Yes. Absolutely. So fingers crossed to that. Uh, you know, hopefully new life comes with 2021. We are excited for your cookbook. You've given us a yes. Hint Don't forget about that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, cookbook will be definitely coming out by the end of this year. Uh, it's just a matter of time, uh, the printing and publishing and all that. So yeah, it'll be coming out very soon by the end of this year. Okay, great. I've got Rosella Kitchen saying hi from Italy. So we we had people from Italy, UK, New Zealand, India, Singapore, wow. Malaysia, South <laughs> Africa, Kuwait. I would say all over the world. And obviously, oh one my god, that loves you, Sachi. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate. So definitely, uh, definitely on our YouTube channel at Biscuit Showtime, and we are going to share this love with Sachi and his fans. So do follow and subscribe to us. And Sachi, thank you so 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 much. I'm going to make a quick recipe with Sachi's you, uh, secret tonight. <laughs> Take care then. Oh please, <laughs> let me know yes. how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to do it. Thank you. Thank you.
Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>